Hey folks, so I went on a house call yesterday evening, uh, had an hour's drive to the town. Um, it was an estate of a fellow I used to deal with. I found out he passed away in April um, at the young age of 71. And anyway, his widow uh, was selling the stuff and I had a referral through somebody else. Um, the widow couldn't remember what my name was, <laughs> uh, but, uh, anyway, so the referral happened and I ended up arranging to do some buying. So anyway, I spent, uh, $235 and this is what I got. So first of all was this Putman's improved cloth chart is what it is. So it's for measuring bolts of cloth, uh, Basically figuring out how many uh, feet are in each bolt. Uh, very cool looking item. And at one time they were worth $7,500. But uh, now they're selling for about $45 Canadian. So not as much as they used to. But still a really neat neat measuring item. And uh, so I paid $10 for it is what she gave it to me for and uh, then I got some hardware of all kinds I got bags and bags of hooks and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces that I'll be able to do okay on um, it's got a ton of hooks and such there'll be some scrap metal there I see some incomplete hinges and such and some hardware that'll go to the thrift shop um, basically for that and this other bucket of hardware here and again like i said there's going to be stuff that's going to go to the thrift store that uh, just isn't of uh, value to me um, anyway the square crate cost me 50 dollars. she offered it to me for 25 and i said well more like 50 is what i figured i would pay for it so gave her 50. and then got a little advertising card from Robin Hood flower, neat 1960s card, a little celluloid piece, and then I uh, got several flower bags. Um, I have been buying these from them on our, in our dealings just a couple at a time, but I bought basically whatever was left. So got some neat Merlin flower bags, so they're kind of cool. So got them, and there was also these ones here, just malt barley flour. They're very basic, nothing too exciting there. Um, still, could be saleable, and then some Robin Hood flour ones as well. These are a little more worn, but uh, still... They're uh, kind of cool. There we go. So Robin Hood flower bags. And then I also got, forgot to show you a little, little, uh, rip, I guess a jeweler's repair piece where you could uh, put, or electronics repair maybe. But uh, she gave that to me for free. I just thought it was neat. I thought maybe I could use it actually. But it's kind of cool. I might sell it just just as a sculptural sort of thing. And then, last but not least, I got this green painted blanket box. Um, it's made of one solid plank on the sides. You can see it's one piece. So that's old growth forest, probably pine. Not that many knots at all in it. There's one little knot there. Very cool. Um, gave a hundred and a quarter for it. Should go out for two seventy-five, maybe three fifty. So not too bad. Um, got just flat hinges on the back there, as you can see. But original grain painting uh, hasn't been messed with. So really cool. It's kind of a neat uh, pattern they've created for very just a faux 
grain painting there on bun feet. Um, might be able to find a key for it. That would be cool if I've got a key. So I went on a quick house call uh, just to a town about 15 minutes away. They had a whole bunch of oak furniture and just stuff that's tough to sell now. I did buy a crock and uh, this little primitive uh, upcycled table. You can see it's made of a crate upside down with a drawer in it and two by two legs. This very country and primitive. But uh, yeah, that was all I bought. The furniture was, like I said, oak and really tough to sell now. So I referred them to somebody else, so. But uh, anyway, that's what I bought. Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.